<laughs> okay, so today we're going into 6.4, um, uh, which is about these things called spectral theorems. Um, spectral, it looks like it refers to ghosts. It actually refers to the word spectrum. Spectrum meaning the collection of eigenvalues. Uh, yeah, the collection of eigenvalues. Um, um, so let's remember what we closed up with last time, which was we had a corollary that said that if A is Hermitian and has uh, uh, all distinct eigenvalues, then A is unitarily unitarily diagonalizable. A is unitarily diagonalizable. In other words, there exists a unitary matrix, uh, U, such that uh, U inverse uh, AU is diagonal. And remember what unitary means. So recall uh, unitary means that the columns are an orthonormal basis with respect to the complex inner product. Columns are an orthonormal basis with respect to the complex inner product. Okay. What this means is that U conjugate transpose U is the identity matrix. Okay. U conjugate transpose U is the identity matrix. Okay. In other words, that. Um, U conjugate transpose is U inverse. Okay. okay. Just like just like remember the orth orth orthogonal matrices. Orthogonal matrices, right? Remember orthogonal matrices meant that Q transpose Q was the identity matrix. Right? And now we've got these complex matrices. The complex, the conjugate transpose is the is the is the inverse matrix. So I'm, let me write U H U H U a U H A U is diagonal here, okay? Because that's the same U H is the same thing as U inverse for unitary matrices. Okay, so that's where we finished up. That's where we finished up, right? If A is a Hermitian matrix. And has n distinct, uh, yeah, has all, all distinct eigenvalues, then it's unitarily diagonalizable. Okay, and we said that um, in fact something much greater is true. Something much more remarkable is true, and that is that every Hermitian matrix. <coughs> every Hermitian matrix is unitarily diagonalizable. Every Hermitian matrix is unitarily diagonalizable. Okay? And this should be sort of shocking to you, right? We don't need we don't need n distinct eigenvalues. Right? We just need the matrix to be Hermitian. As long as it's Hermitian, it's diagonalizable. In fact it's unitarily diagonalizable. It's diagonalizable by a matrix where the columns are form an orthonormal basis. Okay. Um, we're going to need, to get this down, we're not going to prove this right, right now, we're going to need a lemma to get to it. Okay. The lemma is, is, has a name, it's called Schur's Theorem. It's called Schur's, Schur's Theorem. Um, and it says the following that um, uh, given any matrix A, 
Given any matrix A, there exists a unitary matrix U such that U H A U is upper triangular. Given any matrix, there's a unitary matrix for which UHAU is upper triangular. Okay. Um, in English, you could read this, you could state this as every matrix is unitarily upper triangularizable. if you want to. So, like, we're trying to get every Hermitian matrix is unitarily diagonalizable. As an intermediate step, we get this every matrix, every matrix is unitarily triangularizable. Okay, unitarily upper triangularizable. Turns out that once we have Schur's theorem, that spectral theorem will follow as a as an immediate consequence. Like within, we can do it in one a couple lines. Okay, so the main the main main thing here is is Schur's theorem. Yeah, Mariah. Do you have to be a unitary matrix in order to make a like it doesn't right? It's, so. Um, what we're saying is that um, we can find a unitary matrix that does it. Okay. Okay. That's sort of like making it's it's like making things more difficult for yourself, right? We're not. I mean, um, <coughs> it would be easier to say, uh, let's show that you can find some matrix. But we're saying we can actually do that with a unitary matrix. Okay. Sort of like tying your hand behind your back first, and then and then doing it. Okay. So. <laughs> Yeah. <clears throat> okay. So we're, 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 it's it's hard. We're, we're, this is even better than what you're saying, right? That that you can do it with a unitary matrix. Okay. Okay. So um, proof. We'll do it by induction. And right, so proof of Schur's theorem. We'll do it by induction on n. Uh, again, I messed up. This should be a C. Okay. So we're going to induct on on the size of the matrix. Okay. Um, if n equals one, right, then our matrix is a one by one matrix, right? It's just a single number. It's already upper. It's already upper triangular, right? We're done. Okay. So we don't need to do anything. Then done already. Right? It's already upper triangular. Okay. So um, uh, so assume. The statement is true for k by k matrices. Assume the statement is true for k by k matrices, and let's try to prove it for k plus one by k plus one matrices. So let A be a k plus one by k plus one matrix. So remember what we're trying to do? We're trying to find a unitary matrix such that when we conjugate this guy by it, we get something upper triangular. Right? That's our goal. Right? We want <coughs> unitary U such that U H A U is upper triangular. Okay, just to remind yourself. You don't need to write that. Not part of the proof. <coughs> okay, 
So um, we do the following. You say, okay, um, uh, let uh, lambda one be an eigenvalue of A. Let lambda one be. You know that it uh, has like it has some eigenvalues. It's got eigenvectors. Choose choose one of the eigenvalues um, and let uh, W uh, W one be in the eigenspace in that eigenspace. Um, and we can assume uh, we can assume that the norm of W one is one. Right? If it's not one, just divide it by its norm, and you get an eigenvector with a norm one. Okay. So what we're gonna we're gonna build we're gonna build the U. Okay. We're gonna real Construct U. We're going to make the U. Okay, so here's our first step. Um, we take this eigenvector of, of norm one, and then use the Gram-Schmidt process. Use Gram-Schmidt um, to extend this to an orthonormal basis. W1 through WK plus 1. Right? Right? Graham, Graham Schmidt, remember, says that if you have some basis, you can make an orthonormal basis uh, out of it. Okay, so start off with um, you know, take this guy, extend it to a basis, and then apply Gram Schmidt to it, you get an orthonormal basis. Okay, okay. so now um, uh, then the matrix <coughs> W, right, with with uh, uh, with columns wi uh, is unitary. Right? Because unitary means that your columns make an orthonormal basis. Well, we just made an orthonormal basis, so this guy's unitary. All right. Yeah, you know, it's respect to the complex name product. Is it unitary with respect to the complex inner product? Yeah. So you'd have you, you, that's a good point because when we did Gram it was with respect to the real inner product. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So just do Gram Schmidt, but use the okay. use the complex inner product in that in that procedure. Okay. Yeah. So you're right. You right. You use Gram Schmidt with respect to the complex inner product rather than the dot product. Yeah. Great. Okay, now, um, are there any other questions? Oh, yeah. Those are two lines. Down here? It's you. Yeah. Okay. So I'm just pointing out what we, what we want to do. Like we're trying to show, we have some matrix, we want a unitary guy so that when we conjugate A, we get something upper triangular. That's our, that's our theorem, right? right? The theorem is any matrix we can find, given any matrix, we can find a unitary matrix that when we conjugate this guy by it, we get an upper triangular matrix. Okay. And I'm saying that we're gonna construct U. We'll we'll make the U. Okay, we're gonna build it slowly. Here's here's, here's actually part of it. This W will be part of the U that we make. Okay, okay so uh, question. What's the first column? of uh, W-H-A-W. What if we take W-H-A-W, and remember that W-H is W inverse. W-H-A-W, can anybody tell me what the first column 
वो भी No, so um, I think we've got uh, right. We take this. We take this matrix of 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 the Ws, right? And then we take a, right? And we conjugate it. We take W inverse a a W. Okay. Anybody? Anybody see what this is going to be? What's the first? What's the first column? What's the first column going to look like? Anybody? Anybody see it? Let me get the hint. The hint is that remember, lambda. I'm sorry. Uh, w one is an eigenvector. <coughs> we know that a w one is lambda one w one. Right. So what's the first column going to look like? Anybody? Lambda one. Lambda one. So let me, let me try and remind, uh, remind you what's going on. This is going to be the matrix representation of A with respect to the W basis. The matrix representation of A with respect to the W basis. So okay, talk to each other for half a minute, and then. <laughs> Okay, let me try and prime your prime your veins a little bit. If this thing were just a bunch of eigenvectors, if this thing were a basis of eigenvectors, and we took the matrix representation with respect to the basis of eigenvectors, what is the matrix representation going to look like? It'll be diagonal, right? It'll be diagonal with the with the lambdas down the diagonal, right? Okay. We don't have a basis of eigenvectors, but the first one is an eigenvector. The first one is an eigenvector. What's the first column going to look like? Lambda one zero 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 zero. Okay. Did you get that, Ethan? No. <laughs> Right? It's going to be lambda 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0. Right? It's the matrix representation, right? It's the matrix representation of A with respect to, uh, let's call this basis B as usual, B comma B. Right? So we get lambda 1, 0, 0, 0, and then we get some other stuff. We don't know what it is. Right? And we get some more stuff down here. <coughs> okay. I'm going to call this, this square block down here M. So um, notice that M, uh, M is a k by k matrix. Right? K is a comp uh, is a, M is a k by k matrix. What am I going to do? Use your induction hypothesis. Exactly. So by by induction hypothesis, I know that there exists a unitary uh, V unitary matrix V one k by k such that V1 and V1 is so? Upper triangle. Upper triangle, thank you. Upper triangle. Oh, yeah, thank you. Okay. 
So now, um, <coughs> let V be a k plus 1 by k plus 1 matrix that looks like this. Lambda 1, uh, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 
B1. Do they turn into zeros? Uh, I don't I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. Uh, okay. It doesn't matter. Why does it matter? Because what we're trying to do, remember our goal, <coughs> we're trying to turn A into a triangular an upper triangular matrix, right? And you see what happens. What do we know about V V1? V1, H, and V1. It's upper triangular, right? And so that lower block is upper triangular, and we've got lambda 1, 0, 0, 0 here, and so the whole thing is upper triangular, right? So this thing, which is upper triangular. So we've made up a matrix, right? So we have a matrix U, <coughs> that's WV, um, such that UH uh, AU is upper triangular. Right? But we don't, our question is, is U unitary, right? Because we, we said our goal was to show that A was unitarily upper triangularizable, right? So we still need to show that U is unitary. We now uh, show that U is, in fact, unitary. M wasn't triangular. M wasn't a triangle. Oh, it's only when you... Remember, remember how we got... Remember how we got this matrix? This was the matrix representation with respect to the W basis. Okay, but isn't it a, a K by K matrix? No, this is a K... Or no, M is a K. M is a K by K matrix. Yeah, and, and so... Don't we assume that... Uh, it's upper triangular? No, it's upper triangularizable. Oh, okay. Right? That is, you can find okay, okay. you can find a V1 that makes, makes when you conjugate it, then it becomes upper triangular. Okay. okay, so we don't know that this guy is, but we know that this guy is. Okay. That's that's the point. That we can we can find something that when we conjugate it, this part becomes upper triangular. <coughs> okay, so now we need to, we just need to show one last thing, which is that this U is unitary, right? So this, the question is, is U H times U equal to the identity? Right? That's what unitary means. Right? U H times U equal equals the identity. Okay, you say, well, okay. Uh, U H, U is V W, so U H is going to be V H W H W V. Right? When you take the complex, when you take the conjugate transpose of something, of a product, you get the product of the conjugate transposes in the opposite order. Just like the transpose. Okay, but uh, remember, what do we know about W? We made W so that W was unitary, right? W was created to be unitary, so that's the identity. And then V uh, was also unitary, right? V was also unitary, and so we get the identity. Okay, so U is U is 
as you see, a product of unitary matrices is still unitary. Okay. Questions? Questions? Ethan, do you have a question? No. You look, you look like you have a question. Okay. 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 Okay, so you, th you guys see, see what we did, right? We, this proof is by induction, right? Right, so, right, so the, the end of it is, right, we found, right, right, so thus, uh, thus uh, A is unitarily, unitarily triangularizable. the induction is complete. Right. So we did this basically by induction. And the main thing was actually, um, how do we move one step forward? Right. And the way we did it was by using, uh, by using a single eigenvector. And that single eigenvector allowed us to triangularize part of the matrix. And then the rest of it was triangularized by induction. Right? This part was a k by k, so we used induction on this part. Right? We basically were able to take one step forward by, 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 uh, by using an eigenvector. That's, that's the strategy. Okay. Yeah, yeah. How do we know the uh, columns of U are orthogonal This is it. This was our question. Right? If this is true, then the columns are an orthogonal basis. This is equivalent to the columns being an orthogonal basis. Right? If the conjugate transpose multiplied by this is the identity matrix, that means that the columns are an orthogonal basis. So we just calculated it. Right? And we see that, well, yeah, it turns out to be an orthogonal basis. Any questions? Take take a minute and see if you can formulate a question. I feel like there's there might be some questions out there. Yeah. Talk to each other for a little bit. If you don't, then I'm just going to go. On. Right. But it's basically a proof by induction. Um, you you bootstrap your way one step forward using the eigenvector. Yeah, How do you know that U, like U and U turn into V H of H W? Like where is it? Yeah, so remember what our, our problem our strategy was for right? Our whole problem is to create something, create a matrix so that U H A U is upper triangular. Oh yeah, and then we made right. U. And we made this we saw that this thing was upper triangular. Yeah. Okay. So we say, okay, this is our this guy here is our U. Okay. Okay. And then the only thing we need to do is check that that guy was unitary and is a product of unitary matrices, so it's still unitary. Okay. Okay, let's go on. So that's Shear's theorem. Um, and I said that we could get the spectral theorem out of it easily. Okay. Um, <coughs> okay. Actually, before I say that, let me make one remark that um, uh, you then, I'm sorry, uh, we see that any A, uh, let me just say this in words, right? You, what we see is that you can always, for any matrix, you can do something like this, right? You can find a unitary matrix so that U H A U is triangle, triangle. That's what we just said. So Sure theorem says, Sure says right, that you can always do this, right? Always 
find u such that u h a u is, tri is, is, is triangular. Right? In other words, um, a is uh, a u triangular u h. So what this says is that um, every every matrix can be factored in this way. Right? Every matrix can be factored as a triangular matrix. You know, multiply a unitary matrix times a triangular matrix times the inverse of the unitary matrix. Okay, there's a factorization of the matrix. This factorization, this is called the, the sure decomposition. Okay, and we'll use it. We'll use it later. Okay. Um, Let's do the proof of the spectral theorem. Proof of the spectral theorem. Okay, remember what the spectral theorem says? Spectral theorem says any Hermitian matrix is unitarily diagonal, unitarily diagonalizable. Right? So let's prove it. So let's prove it. Um, say A is Hermitian. In other words, AH is A. Um, by Schur's theorem, there exists a unitary U such that u uh, h a u is triangular. Yeah, Eric. Uh, does it have to be upper triangular or just triangular? I'm sorry, upper triangular. It won't matter, actually. Okay. Um, <clears throat> but notice, if I take the complex conjugate of T, if I take the complex conjugate of T, uh, anybody see what happens? It becomes lower triangular. It's true. Um, that's, that's true, right? An upper triangular guy will become lower triangular. Um, something even better, something additional happens. Um, we're going to get the complex, we're going to get the conjugate transpose of this. That's going to be U H A H U H H. But that's just U again, right? Um, so we get U H A H, but A H is, is A because we're Hermitian. So it equals T. That means T is Hermitian. Okay. Right? T is Hermitian. But it's an upper triangular matrix, and when you take its complex when you take its conjugate transpose, it becomes a lower triangular matrix. Right? So it's a those are equal to each other, and so what do you see? T must be T must be diagonal, right? It's an upper triangular matrix that equals the lower triangular matrix. It has to be a diagonal matrix, right? Right. But then you see T is diagonal. Okay. So that uh, unitary upper triangularization 
was in fact a unitary diagonalization, right? Which is what we we're hoping for, that A could be unitarily diagonalized. So T also has to be real? Then. Yes, that's right. So yeah, so it's a, in fact a real, a real diagonal matrix. Which you knew because the the diagonal elements uh, would be the eigenvalues, and you know the eigenvalues are going to be real. Okay. Okay. So it's just an immediate consequence of, of Schur's theorem. The spectral theorem falls falls follows out of of, of Schur's theorem immediately. Right. You have um, if you're Hermitian uh, by Schur's theorem. You're unitarily triangularizable, but then you notice that the triangular, because of the unitary, because A is unitary, um, TH is equal to T, and so you see that if T is a triangular emission matrix in this diagram. Okay. Um, Mark, there is a spectral theorem for symmetric matrices. And it says that um, if A is a real n by n matrix, then there exists an orthogonal Q such that QT AQ is diagonal. OK, so we're not going to do it. It's in, the, it's in the book. They give the full proof. We've already gotten one one spectral theorem, and if you want to read this, the other spectral theorem, that's fine. But we're not going to do it. Okay, let me um, just start off with uh, um, another idea. This is called normal matrices. We'll be able to get a little bit of this. Okay. So. Um, uh, it's like this. We see that A Hermitian implies A is unitarily diagonalizable. Okay. But the opposite is not true. It's not true that A unitarily diagonalizable implies that A is Hermitian. The converse is false. What turns out to be true is that there's another condition called normal. So uh, we'll have we'll prove, maybe not this time, but the next, that uh, if a, a being normal is equivalent to A being unitarily diagonalizable. Let me just give the definition of what normal what normal means. <coughs> we say A is normal if A H A equals A A H. Okay. In other words, you commute, you can commute with your conjugate transpose. A commutes with its conjugate transpose. You can change the order, it doesn't matter. Okay, so notice if A is Hermitian, then it's normal. If A is Hermitian, then it's normal, right? Because Hermitian, what does Hermitian mean? What does Hermitian mean? You equal your conjugate transpose, right? Right. Hermitian means 
AH is A. So if you're asking, is a Hermitian matrix normal? You're asking, does AA equal AA? <laughs> right? That's easy, right? Definitely true. <laughs> right? So, so obviously, right? because AH is A. So certainly, it commutes with itself. So commission implies normal, right? Uh, normal doesn't imply permission. Okay. So next time we'll see um, this, this nice nice result that uh, being, being unitarily diagonalizable is actually being equivalent, is equivalent to you commuting with your conjugate transpose. Okay, that's it for today.